views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. Get ready to be transformed from Dr. Jen's live guidance guided healing meditations and intuitive readings and unveil the power of connecting to spirit, the angels, and your higher self. Dr. Jen is passionate about helping you find the answers you're looking for through an inward journey that will strengthen your connection to spirit and help you trust your intuition. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jen Royster. Hello, everyone. It's great to be back here with you today. I'm Dr. Jen, and wow, you know, um, I'm just amazed And I don't know if I'll ever uh, get to the point where I'm just not completely in in joy in my heart, just jumping when I ever when I have the connection with the angels. It's really been coming through. So today um, I had when I was I always pray. Let me let me put it this way. The topic today is uh, feeling this frequency shift. Okay, but I had a surprise visit from an angel that I. I don't hear from very often, and I do on occasion, but it's always been for my own self. It's never been like something personal, and it's Archangel Muriel, Um, and I was so touched that uh, she came through. Uh, I asked Michael, I said, am I... Am I make sure I'm clear here? Am I am I hearing this? And I received the message after looking into what we were going to talk about today, because we have, you know, we're we're in it now. And I'm not trying to grandiose this thing, but at the same time, we are feeling it, but we don't want to let it run away from us with imaginative fears. This is a great opportunity this month for incredible transition, life change, um, letting go, you name it. I mean, this is just a great energetic alignment right now where we are in this time for the next couple of weeks to really make those changes that we always think about or dream about or talk about. It's time to do it. And uh, she came through. And the reason We're doing the show today. We're doing it on what we're feeling, okay? This frequency shift, we're feeling it. Now, you will run into some people that are just tuning it all out. That's fine. Don't worry about that. If you're feeling it, then you're obviously truly on a path of change, and you want that change, and you're deep inside your soul is welcoming this change and pulling you in that direction. So here we have... The sensitivity, if you already are highly sensitive or empathic or you just let things get to you, um, you might be feeling that kicking up a bit, but don't let it discourage you. And that's one of the things we're going to be talking about during the show today, because when you feel all these, and I am too, let me tell you, boy, am I feeling them. And we're going to talk about what we can do how we can make the most of this, and different messages that Muriel may have for you. So you are welcome to call in if you'd like during the show to see what's going on here or just find some clarity of what you might be feeling. You might be feeling physical uh, sensitivities or things that are flaring up that you've had in the past and you're concerned about that, or you may be feeling emotional turmoil. You might be feeling blocked In your movement forward, you might be feeling very disconnected. You might be feeling like I used to be able to connect so much better. And it's why do I not feel connected? All of these things is is what is happening right now with the experience we're feeling Uh, right now. I have the, the highest pitch frequency going on nonstop. 
I don't have tinnitus or anything wrong with me. I know when I feel that kick up and go higher that they're with me. And then it goes right back down. Because right before we started the show, I said, just be clear with me. Let me know which way you want me to go with the show. I mean, I am just really stepping aside and allowing these messages to come through for myself and you. Um, I go back and listen to the show later to see what they were saying sometimes because I, I honestly just let it flow. And I'm amazed sometimes. I'm like, wow. And then I forget. You know, I'm listening to a recording of me speaking it, but that is that is truly what happens. And those are the best to me. It's not all, you know, what everybody else is saying. Because here's the thing. You're going to see a lot about September 2015 out there. You're going to see a whole lot of it. And some of the things that I'm going to say will help you and maybe not. If you're not experiencing it, then this may not be for you. This is for, you know, if you're feeling some some unusual things, maybe you're not sleeping right. Maybe you feel different about eating and maybe you just feel like, oh, son, I want to get rid of things, you know. Uh, don't let that alarm you. We're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about all these things that are going on and what we feel so in the dark about. We are going to feel that way a little bit. Now, here it is the 10th, and uh, I believe it's Sunday, the 13th, we have that new moon in that eclipse, and then that's going to start bringing in, and then we have that full moon on the 28th or 27th. I think it's 28th of September. So we have this incredible opportunity right now. We're going to talk about what we could be doing right now leading up to that uh, new moon because the new moon we bring in new things so if you haven't started to let go of anything in your life and you really want to you can choose not to you can choose to pass this up if you want okay this isn't a panic oh no it's the ruin if i don't it's not like that this is an opportunity for big transcendence, ascension, soul growth, really moving into where you want to be, and it's moving faster. You, you don't have to choose it if you don't want to, but I, I highly recommend choosing a happy life. I mean, I know that I am, and it's surprised me in a few areas. It's surprised me with some of the plans that I had on different things that I was going to do with my own work or you know, what I'm doing personally, and uh, I'm finding that, oh, okay. So honestly, I just stopped trying to push forward so hard. And this this will work for anybody feeling any of this. I just stopped trying to push so hard. And I went, you know what? Let me just sit back and and just go, okay, let's let's change it up. Let's see what we got to do here. And, and listen a little bit, because your plan isn't like it's, Oh, I'm. Uh, this is what I wanted, but why? Uh, why is it not working? Maybe it just needs some tweaking. Okay, and that's what I'm finding out too. Now, when we come back, we're about to go to break. When we come back, we'll start taking callers. If you want to call in, one eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. If you want to call in, have a question. Archangel Muriel is a really wonderful angel to work with. If you are an empath, highly sensitive, going through a lot of emotional feelings, uh, I highly she really stepped forward. She said, hey, I want to help. I want to help all of you. And I appreciated it personally. I'm like, wow, okay. And definitely to share this with everybody else. It's like, what a, you know, uh, Michael can protect you so you feel safe. And I, I, I do that daily. But Muriel can really help you with, Helping you find definition in if it, if it's yours or if you're absorbing something, so you want to watch out for some of the some of the what I call a red flag or a an emotional trap out there, and that's somebody else uh, what they might be going through, what they might be feeling if it's if it's not positive, if if a negative outlook or an approach to life really affects you. Now's the time to just give yourself a bit of a of a hiatus or a break from that for a couple of weeks. Don't don't waste your time with that. Do, you know that's where they are. That's where they're choosing. Uh, if things are upsetting you, just stay away from it for a little bit. Just just leave it alone. 
if it's the news, if it's if it's anything, because you want to bring yourself back to where you feel balanced and what's right for you. That's one of the biggest things here. So we're talking about Archangel Muriel, and she is the wonderful angel that can help you with the emotional turmoil you may be feeling and to help you move through the shift in the most positive, productive way. And she came through for this show today. So I could not say enough thank yous to her for coming through. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll take a caller. We'll be right back. Walking the night, walking on air. Go find me some trouble. Go grab my shit. I want you tonight, I want you with me, maybe guilty of love in the first degree. Tired of traditional talk? People pontificating about this or that, the left or the right. Sometimes the truth is just all lost in the noise. Tune in each week to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern. As nationally known guests talk about what's important to you, your life, your concerns, and your success. Tune in and turn on to Straight Talk with Chuck Gallagher. Visit ChuckGallagher.com for more information. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones? Travel the world? Live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basile is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You too can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. And we are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. Our topic today is we're working with Archangel Muriel, who is wonderful for the emotional experiences or feelings we're having as we're going through this frequency shift. And we do have a caller, I believe, Brian. Let's bring on Yvonne from Arizona. Yes. Yes. 
Hi, Yvonne. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, and what is your question? Um, well, I know we're all going through this big energy shift, and uh-huh. but I, I don't really feel that. I just feel I, I just stuck. You know, I'm very stuck right now, and I've been like that for a while, and I just can't. I, I'm not able to move forward, you know, like an inch, and then I go back, you know, an, an inch, and I go back. I don't really mm-hmm. get anywhere with anything. Right. No motivation. Actually, that is one of the biggest things. I think I mentioned it right at the beginning, but that's one of the biggest experiences that some people are having. They're feeling, it, they're, they're feeling like there isn't anything there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so, believe it or not, you are feeling the shift. You just weren't aware that that's how you're responding or experiencing it. And there's a few things you can do. But I okay. wanted to hear the rest of what you were saying because I want to – I think there's a couple of things physically and, you know, just meditative-wise that you can do. But are okay. you feeling but frustrated just, or I'm completely very distant? I'm sorry. Pardon go me? ahead. I just feel very depressed all the time, crying and Mm. I'm unmotivated and, you know. Yeah. No, well, you know, I want to make you feel better. I did that last week. Uh, For two, (laughs) yeah. I was like, okay, this is going to be an interesting show if this doesn't dry up by Thursday. This was last week. I did that too. But (laughs) that was the same time Muriel came through. So divine timing on your call today because... I want you to know to embrace those tears because if it it is an inner, it's a way that energy moves through and releases for us. It's one of the best gifts we have in being in a human body, but people don't see tears or the crying is that. And also um, you will feel what you were doing was moving a blockage or a lower frequency out that, that sadness that you were feeling is something that was probably deep within you and you probably handled it. It probably kind of went to the back corner and, you know, it can come across that we, we got through that just fine whenever it happened way back when, and you don't even know sometimes why you're crying. You just feel this blankness that you're crying. The beautiful Mm -hmm. thing that I'm getting, and I'm getting a lot of chills as I share this with you. The beautiful thing that I'm getting is that emotion and that tearing is helping you release the sadness. And it may happen okay. some more. It might happen a lot more in the next few weeks. But absolutely, I'm not discarding a depression or a sadness. I don't want anybody to think that's what I'm doing. But the tears yeah. can truly help. And we, we kind of get, we're hard on ourselves when that happens. I grew up with being made fun of all kinds of things like that because I was a highly sensitive person. I mean, I was always this way and I cried at the drop of a hat. And so I stuffed it for years and you can't stuff it right now because it's going to make you healthy. It's going to actually make you physically healthy, emotional, healthy, and mental. Think of it this way. When you have that surge coming through with the tears, it's like a storm is going through your body. And when it pops up and you're feeling the sadness, because what's happening is it's this energy being higher and lighter. It's like if there's something heavy on top of the balloon and the balloon is lifting, it's pushing it up. And when it pushes it up and through the surface and out from us and from our energy field, we feel it very, very intense, like a big storm, so to speak. And we feel like, whoa, I I thought I had control of this and now I don't. It'll feel like you're going through it all over again when it's leaving your body. Okay. Yeah, I, and I, I really, I'm so glad that you brought that up because I think a lot of people are feeling that and they don't know if they should talk about it or they just feel weak. No, I honestly, uh, if you have the tears flowing through, it's breaking through the numb, not feeling anything barrier because sometimes when we're going down into that, we, we lose that excitement for anything, and then we feel numb. We, don't, we can't even cry. We can't do anything. Yeah. And then for the tears okay. to come through like that, honestly, is a positive sign to me for you. Okay. Yeah. Thank now, you. Yeah. Now, you want to detox, detox, and lighten it up. Uh, don't try okay. to push so hard to make things go the way the routine always does because you're just not going to feel it right now. 
I, I really don't have a routine right now because I, I left my um, high-level job in July 31st. I couldn't take it anymore. Okay. And I retired. And okay. I moved in with my son in Sedona, and I'm hanging out here. Okay. So I, you know, get things moving in a different direction. But I just, I had to, I had to leave. I was crying all day at work. I couldn't take it. They were killing me. <laughs> yes, and, and kudos to you. You did the right thing for your soul and where you're going. Um, I exper- And I will say that again. I feel like I'm talking to myself's history right now. I did that, too, <laughs> when I had to leave a corporate job about 12 years ago or so. I could say, oh, it's wow. awful. I thought, whoa, I'm yeah. falling. I'm completely having a breakdown. Because if yeah. you're trying to stay in a status quo and your soul is pulling you in a different direction, which is how this frequency is going to cause all these experiences. And you listen to it when you left and retired. Now you're in that in-between and adjusting. And it hasn't yeah. really been that long ago that you left. So right. now it's it's you're recalibrating. So... For okay. honestly, I would keep it simple. I wouldn't eat too heavy. Keep your eating a little bit lighter for the next couple of weeks. Don't starve yourself. Okay. Just don't weigh yourself down uh, with heavier foods. Um, I find that that is helping a lot. If you just feel lighter okay. physically, it helps that frequency energetically feel. It helps you connect to that. It'll help you more with that. And if you just have that intention that you want to move through this in the most positive way, you will because they'll come through for you. Now, but okay. please don't take those tears as a negative. Honestly, I think there's a lot of people out there that need to let them flow and they're not. Yeah. I try to hold it all back in, you know. Yeah. Do do your detoxing, your, um, you know, energetically do baking soda in your bath with some salt that can just pull a big flow when you're feeling it and it's really, oh, you know, you got the swollen eyes and sinuses from it. You know, I mean, okay. go, go do that. Take nurture and take care of yourself as though you were taking care of a child that was crying very hard and allow okay. that to happen because okay. uh, you're, you're in a place where you're, you're actually going through uh, quite the frequency shift and if there's a lot of dense energy there that needs to be released, it's going to feel exactly how you're describing. So I'm okay. I'm saying a big blessing and kudo to you for calling in and sharing that with the listeners because it's a big deal. And I think Thank it's going to help a lot of people today. And your call, oh, I keep getting these chills just talking to you. I'm feeling all of that, by the way. Um, I want you to feel lifted and don't hesitate to ask Muriel to help you when you feel it coming okay. on. Because you might feel right. it come, uh, it's going to come in waves. It'll be up and down. Okay. Uh, going outside for 15 minutes when you feel that way, just a few minutes outside. You don't have to go cook yourself in the sun, but allow that sunlight to lighten you and bring positive uh, energy to the inner. The energy of the sun is a very positive energy, and we've been taught for years to hide from it. Uh, I'm not saying go out and burn yourself and be careful, but right. allow the sunshine to lift your mood. It's a very powerful okay. energy right now that's going to help all of us. I, I know I do it. I found myself a couple of weeks ago, I couldn't get enough of being outside. And I go, what is with this? I love being outside, but it's like I just didn't want to be in the house. And I when I, I just listened to it, and it was the right thing to do. Okay. So even if you're not an outdoorsy person, Go for a walk, do anything just to be outdoors when you're feeling that okay. way. Go sit in the backyard, anything. Just give it okay, a, all you that. need a few minutes. Uh, it will okay. help. Well, I'm in a very people. spiritual place, so that helps. Yes, it is. You are. I've been there, by the way. It's a wonderful place. Oh, okay. And I felt all oh, kinds of stuff. Yeah. When I, th- I heard so many different frequencies when I was out there. So there's something uh-huh. that you can say, thank you that I live right here. Yeah. A- and... You're going to get through this. You are, and you're already on a good track if the if it's found a way to release itself from you through the tears. So that's okay. a good thing. You found a way to release something, and that's why it's doing it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You are very welcome, and thank you for calling in. I wish you so much love, and good vibes coming your way. I'm giving you a big 
a big energy hug right now. And thank you for calling thank in. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Wow. You know, her, you know, she probably didn't realize that when she called in that that was going to be a very powerful aspect of the show, but it was. So uh, thank you, Yvonne, for calling in and I wish, wish you much love and everybody else that may be feeling it that way. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're powering on. We're talking about Archangel Muriel that can help us with the feeling of the frequency shift and what's going on what's happening, and how we can make the most of it for positive change. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases. It's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Do you want the freedom to spend more time with your loved ones, travel the world, live spontaneously? Get ready, because the Chip Justice Show is here. Hosts Dr. Pat Basile and Chip Justice can help you build meaningful success while embracing life. Living a life you love is the end game in this new, inspirational, and empowering show. Positive changes for a life you'll love. Tune in every month on TransformationTalkRadio.com and visit PositiveChangeInstitute.co for more information. My dream is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basile is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. And we are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. And, you know, we are in a big time of feeling a lot of things, or you may actually be feeling like the first caller we had in the last segment wasn't feeling anything or just feeling the sadness or can't stop crying. It's an interesting time because when we go through transition, which that's what we're going to talk about in depth next week on the show because that's what we're in as a transition. But when we go through transition, you know, at the very beginning of a transition, what do you do? You got to let go of a lot of stuff. Then you feel kind of emotional and you, you feel yanked around a little bit, or you might be feeling nothing at all. You just want to avoid 
feeling any attachment, you know, disconnect. It, it's a it's a kind of a crazy time when we're going through transition, which is exactly what we're all going through. Everybody's going through it in their own way. Now, um, and then when we start to become more comfortable in something new, we start to feel more normalized again is the way it will feel to us here. What we know with our ego is what we're used to, you know, and that's when it feels calm. Right now, our ego side, our physical side of life, our, you know, our logic, it's just going to feel very unknown. And if you get caught up in the fears and the what ifs and what everybody else thinks might happen or not happen, you're going to just set yourself up for anxiety. Right now, the most important thing you can absolutely do for yourself is to listen to what makes you feel peaceful. If you're having a hard time holding on to the peacefulness, don't be hard on yourself. Just know that you'll find that distractions are coming in. It's like, why do I feel so scattered? Why can't I just feel good? Do something. Listen to music that makes you feel good. That's upbeat and light. Um, watch, watch movies or films that feel good to you. Uh, watch or listen to things that make you feel better. That's one way to do it. Read things that make you feel better. Uh, the more positive we are right now, the more it will help you with your frequency. But when we don't feel so positive, what are we supposed to do? That's another way we're feeling this frequency shift. If you, if you're feeling the heaviness of it, it means there's things to let go of still. And I say, do it, get, get, get proactive. And even if it's just cleaning out a closet, do it, start with something, clean out a cupboard, um, clean out the refrigerator, things that really shouldn't be there. Cause it's now a science project, things like that, whatever it takes, do it. I mean, do something to clear out the, the clutter, organize something. Maybe it's just your desk or a closet or, you know, picking up, you know, what can you give away to somebody else in need? These are going to, these are so many, there's so many things you can do in your, in your physical life. When you are feeling these emotional tugs that can lift your frequency, because when you do things like that, immediately it will. Um, meditation is a very important thing right now too. Meditation is very important, even if it's for two to five minutes. That's all you need to do. Just sit and be quiet and allow yourself to not not do anything. You may feel like your mind won't stop. Don't even worry about trying to control it. If you just sit and be for a moment, it will let that energy spend out. That All that thinking is energy that just needs to spin itself out. So... Those are a few tips that uh, Muriel gave me, and she's uh, very, very gentle and nurturing when she comes around. It's a, it's a beautiful energy. She feels very, it just feels like a comforting type of energy when she comes around, and, and I loved it. Uh, it really helped me because I was, I didn't know where it was coming from, what I was going through, and I, I knew that it was the frequency shift. I came through it stronger, and I know you will too. Now, we're going to take another caller. It looks like we have Shadana from Virginia Beach. Brian, let's bring Shadana on. Good morning. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm wonderful, fantabulous. And how are you, my dear Shadana? Awesome. <laughs> Again, you this is um, right on time for me because, you know, just even yesterday, I was thinking, what is really going on? Because... I feel, like, determined one second, and then the next day I feel really defeated and overwhelmed. <laughs> and uh -huh. then yesterday I felt just blah until that night. All of a sudden I was overcome with just gratitude and love, and I was good, and I slept real good, and I was wondering what is really going on, and I'm all over the place. <laughs> so <laughs> I know. Um, you can feel like how many of me are in there, but it what you yes. were experiencing. It's interesting because you've been working on your co connection and uh, you're feeling the waves. You know, you're feeling like high tide, low tide of the yep. energy. It's like, yeah. okay, it feels 
like it's low tide, blah, blah, blah. and then all of a sudden high tide, yay, hee hoo, you know. And so you you are actually writing that and wow. feeling it. Now here's one that people are not used to, which will really be a great tip for you as well. And okay. boy, these these calls and questions are so amazing today. Uh, so you guys callers, thank you because it, these are questions about the topic that every a lot of people have. Um, when you go back and forth like that, and I, I felt that too. It's like in one day I went through four different things. I thought that was a big day. And, <laughs> and here's the thing. You look at every one of them positively. Like the low one, okay, that's showing you. See, spirit and energy will show us. They have to show us in this physical world what we need to let go of, which is the frequencies right now. They'll show us what we need to let go of. And then it'll show us what we can have joy about and what, where we want to focus, where we want to go next. Because right now, it's kind of the closing chapter of the way it was for everybody, really. And we have an opportunity to uh, get more organized, restructured. It's kind of like that New Year's resolution. You know what we do every January? Like, okay, I'm going to get all organized. I'm going to find all my papers for taxes. I'm going to clean out this closet. And, but we're doing it now. So it's feeling a little off the grid for us. So you're going up and down with it. So when it's, it's, it's knowing and remembering, even if you have to stick a note somewhere to remind you when you feel down, uh, this is okay. This is just the other part of it. And this will, this will pass and it'll be okay. So while you're in it, what can I, what can I clean up or get rid of? What is it that you're showing me that needs to go away when you're in that? And then when you move up, it's time to celebrate and rejoice and have the gratitude. You want to have a gratitude as much as possible, but you'll find that it'll be easier to ride through those waves because we have a lot of planets that are bringing a lot of influence with that right now. Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. It absolutely does. <laughs> it <laughs> so absolutely while you were does. in that, did you feel anything sticking out that you feel like it's just <laughs> tying your ankles down or weighing you down when you were in that lower so moment. Funny. It's so funny how it all ties together because what I what I'm it started as this overwhelming desire to like um I want to purchase a home. Well, mm -hmm. what it boils down to is I need to clean up and reorganize my finances. So by the end of the day yesterday, I was like, at first I was overwhelmed by it and a little disheartened and was like, you know what, <laughs> maybe mm. this is not the time because it's not lining up. But then by the end of the day yesterday, I was like, you know what, I'm good. I'm going to get it together. It's going to all fall in place and everything's going to be just fine. Whether it's purchasing or not, I need mm -hmm. to take this step in organize this and get it straight so well well yeah so and it was showing you what you needed to do for your dreams to come true it was yeah, showing you that but i wasn't looking at it that way i was looking at it like negatively until yesterday and right. then all of a sudden right. the light bulb this went is, off yeah like, it so now it, it's not going to be the last time that happens i mean we we <laughs> that's just how it works so yeah. um now when it comes back up you're like all right so what do I need to know? What do I need to learn from this? And yeah. and take your notes if you have to so you won't forget. But absolutely, that that was an incredible experience. I mean, to I know that I was feeling like, whoa. The other thing that's interesting, I'm going to have to wrap this one up quickly, but uh, okay. the other thing that's happening is what we feel was just so a perfect path or, you know, plan. All of a sudden, it's like, what's happening? I thought that was going to be the perfect way to go. And you might be right. feeling like there's a second guessing or a doubting or it's not feeling right anymore. Right. Okay. Yeah. And this is pretty much for everybody I'm putting it out there with. But, you know, don't don't be surprised if something like that happens too. just this is where it's going to ask us to be more flexible for those that don't like flexibility, you might have a little bit more cramping in your neck. Okay. You might feel that uh, because it's a, you know, you don't want to change something. Honestly, I've had to just throw it all up and go, I've just got to change and let it show me. 
I mean, exactly. I just got to be what it's going to be, you know? That's what I came um, to last night. I have to yeah. allow it to show me, well, it was a good plan maybe two or three years ago, but maybe not now. Maybe it does need to be improved on or tweaked or maybe the timing. I just need to be where I'm at now and be good with that. So I'm doing that too. I even had to do that yesterday with my website. It just decided to, the server had a crazy experience. And so the entire website wasn't there <laughs> for all of yesterday. And I just, that's when I put my newsletter out and that's when I do everything. And I just went, you know what? That's Okay. I'm just going to do the best I can and, and show me what I need to do here. And it wasn't even on my end. It was on the server end. So they had to fix something. And they did get it back up. But I didn't let it cause a lot of issues. I just went with it. And in the past, maybe not so much. But I did. And I just went, well, you know. And it gave me time to work on something to improve something else. So I was supposed to do something else yesterday, obviously. Ah. So that's how that works. So, you know, just to share a little tidbit, but Shadana, thank you for calling in. That was a great one for everybody as well. This is a dynamic show, and I, I have had constant waves of the energy goosies is what I kind of call them flowing through through this entire show, but we have to take a break. And when we come back, we'll wrap the show up. We're talking about Archangel Muriel, a wonderful angel to work with, with highly sensitivity and feeling the frequency shift. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to the Jen Royster show. We'll be right back. <laughs> broken from your relationships? Are you second-guessing yourself about friends, family, and lovers? Tune into the hit show that's creating a buzz in the love-seeking community. Love Seeker Radio, finding love for your authentic self with renowned love coach Heather Lynn. Tired of dissatisfying relationships? Kiss them goodbye and power up your love seeker energy. Coach Heather Lynn reminds you that you can just be you, the beautiful and perfect you. Visit HeatherLynnCoaching.com to learn more. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start willing the game of life with the unique and incomparable Lynn Brown. As an intuitive healer and experienced business manager, Lynn can help you live your life to its full potential. To learn more about Lynn, visit ruintuit.com. That's the letter R, letter U, intuit.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic disease. It's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lime Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. We 
are back. I'm Dr. Jen. You're listening to The Jen Royster Show. Our topic today has been working with Archangel Muriel, and she is a wonderful angel to work with when you're feeling emotions, you're feeling everything, you know, a highly sensitive person, an empath, you're feeling like you're getting overwhelmed with the negativity that surrounds us in the world. Very important. And to wrap the show up, a couple things to go over. Um, One of the things that uh, I wanted to mention right before uh, we went on the air and I was, you know, getting situated here at the mic, the numbers, it was 10, 10, 10 that came up. It just popped up right literally in front of me and it was so distracting. It was like glowing. And I know I have to stop and I have to see what that's about. Well, you know, the one is the beginning you know, the alpha, and it is about, and it was for the show because of the way it popped up, by the way, it's for, it's, all of, it's for all of us, but that is, you know, the fundamentals of the beginning, you know, the divine mind, God, universal mind, or whatever you call that beautiful divine energy, and it's about that vibration of creating a new way. We're at the beginning now, see, it's been all this closure, and some of us, I think, are grieving a little bit about what's ending and going away and what needs to change. That's part of the letting go, that emotional attachment that you may have to something. That's the ending of something. And, you know, this beginning is now merging in and coming in. So grab on to that one. Grab on to that energy that's rolling in. It'll help you to let go, to just keep that positive focus and vibrational uh it's a higher frequency. Just let it attract more wonderful things to you. And so that one was about that. And the zero, the zero was, you know, the divine is talking to you. It's trying to get your attention. It's trying to bring all this assurance, reassurance, support to you and show you the way. And it came in and it tripled. And then when you add that together, now you have one, 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 And you add that together, that's a three. And, you know, that always shows me that uh, ascended masters are ready and willing to help us. I mean, we're not by ourselves. We have so much support around us. We are really, you know, they're ready to help us and walk us right through it. You just have to be open and um, allow it. You don't have to. But for those that really want to go through this shift positively and make the most out of it, and allow it to show you things that you may not be aware of, and that including that includes maybe a completely different path, a completely different direction. Okay, it's time to rewrite the business plan, or okay, I gotta redirect, I gotta just I never looked at it that way. Allow it to show you those things. Absolutely. Now, it'll help. Like I said earlier, I was giving out some of this information with callers because it was a, it was fitting as well. But lighten up on the diet. Don't, don't eat too heavy. That's going to help a lot. If you're feeling weighed down emotionally, lighten up, you know, you know, just eat lighter. Um, another one would be, you know, to clear the energy off. You can do that with those wonderful salt baths and baking soda and different things like that in the bath and just... Allow yourself to be nurtured and allow that to release that energy. If you live by the ocean, uh, walking in that salt water will do that as well. And it's a wonderful uh, positive there that you can do. These are things that you can do physically. Remember, cleaning out a closet, organizing something, whether it's your finances, um, the kitchen cupboard, whatever. Just clean up. Just Get yourself busy doing something productive in your physical life, and it will shift and help you energetically, and it will help your mind to clear logically as well so you can you feel less on you. Uh, uh, our environment holds energy all the time. Limit your exposure right now if you're really feeling overwhelmed by all the fears, the scare tactics, you know, everything that's not going well. You have to understand that we all have our own journeys and we are going to be much more help to those in need if our energy field is higher frequency and positive. If you're not feeling that way because you're so upset about something else going on, 
then your frequency is in a place where you need to nurture you first so you can give a higher frequency nurturing. So please know that. It's a very important thing. We, you have to have inside you what you want to give. So that is the, one of the toughest ones for empath, empathic or highly sensitive people because we are like sponges. We absorb everything around. It is a gift and it can be a very positive gift because it's a very easy connection intuitively to the energies. I mean, I know that I have that as one of my strongest connecting points and I know what I'm feeling and I trust every bit of what I'm feeling and I allow it to show me what I need to know. But then there's this point where you have to know that it's not yours to process. It's another's journey and they choose for themselves. Choose for you. Go inward. Go with what is most comfortable for you. I'm giving a lot of suggestions on what you can do to make it easier on yourself. Allow those tears to flow when they come. Don't hold them back right now. That is a way to move energy through and to release lower frequency energy. Sometimes we have tears of joy. I, it's an energy processing, tears are. You can exercise. You can do something out in the garden or the yard. Make sure you sit outside for a few minutes when you're feeling down. That will lift you because it just, nature has a wonderful way of pulling some of that heaviness away from you as well. And if you feel better when you go outside in nature, make sure you say thank you to Mother Earth for that because you know, believe it or not, it does its best supporting us. So we need to not abuse it either. Um, this has been uh, an incredible time and it continues on. Next week, we're going to talk about the life transitions and, you know, all the different phases of what that feels like on the show. And we're going to continue with our September series. So we're all working together and we don't feel so alone out there. Um Make the most of this incredible opportunity for change in a positive way. Please come over to the website, jenroyster.com, J-E-N-N-R-O-Y-S-T-E-R.com. Come over, check it out, sign up for the newsletter so you get the updated listings of what's coming up and what we're doing. Um, it's always an honor and a pleasure for me. And I feel so lifted right now. I have... A little bit of everything going on right now. I'm burning off a lot of frequency. I always get really hot with energy healing. So I'm feeling a lot of that. And I have an incredible burst of energy with joy flowing through at the same time. So when I do energy healing, it does that every single time. So I know that this is a, a beautiful moment right now I wasn't expecting to do. And I am just sending that right back out and sharing it with you because it's very positive inside me right now. And I say thank you to the angels. Thank you to Archangel Muriel. And thank you to you for listening. We'll see you next time here on the Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life. Remember to tune in each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Dr. Jen Royster is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Imagine having the ability to use your innate positive energy to dissolve the stuckness in your life, whether it's emotional, physical, or spiritual, through this incredible dynamic show. If you've missed any part of this show or any other show, Visit www.jenroyster.com and transformationtalkradio.com.